This video is brought to you by Mobi, a curated streaming service showing exceptional films from around the globe. Get a whole month free at mubi.com slash Anupama. Patal Lok is a nine-episode series adapted from Tarun Tejpal's critically acclaimed book, The Story of My Assassins. Tejpal, ex-editor of Thelka, was accused of sexual assault by a colleague and is currently out on bail, which is presumably why his name or the name of the book doesn't feature in the credits. An Amazon spokesperson said that Tejpal was not involved in any manner in any phase of the development or production of the show. I haven't read the book, but the show is terrifying and terrific. Patal Lok is constructed as an investigative thriller. Four killers have been arrested for trying to murder Sanjeev Mehra, the head of a leading news channel and one of the country's most high-profile journalists. The case has been assigned to a washed-out mediocre cop who works in the outer Jamuna Park police station or what he calls Patal Lok, jisme kide rehte hain. But the rather unfortunately named Hathi Ram Chaudhary, whose life has been a series of slights and failures, instinctively understands that this case can be a game changer. Because it involves Sanjeev, a man from the upper echelons, or what he calls Swarglok. Who lives and who dies in this strata of society actually matters. Aided by his fresh-faced junior Ansari, Hathi Ram tries to uncover the motives of the four assassins. Of course, little goes according to plan, and even less is what it appears to be. Patal Lok is the first series by Clean Slate Films, the production house run by Anushka Sharma and her brother Karnesh. It's been created by Sudeep Sharma, who wrote NH10 and Urta Punjab. Sudeep has also co-written the series along with Sagar Haveli, Hardik Mehta and Gunjit Chopra. The show has been directed by Avinash Arun, who made the national award-winning Marathi film Kila, and Prasit Roy, who made the horror film Pari. This is a crew brimming with talent and their collective skills create fireworks on screen. Pata Lok is a tightly knit thriller with every episode ending on a cliffhanger which forces you to keep binging. The suspense doesn't flag but our perception of the character shifts as the story unravels so that it becomes impossible to decide the good, bad and ugly. Patal Lok means underworld, so it would be futile to look for a moral center, but what little goodness there is resides mostly in women, children and dogs. It's telling that Hathi Ram is named after an animal. There is little humanity in the humans here. This world and these characters are meticulously detailed, from the sullen stare of Hathi Ram's teenage son, to this Buddhist chanting that Sanjeev's wife organizes to keep her husband safe, to this incredibly vulgar, opulent office of a dodgy builder where the receptionist is dressed in this amazing Greek toga and she addresses her guests with Talreja Pranam. The directors locate the thread of absurdity in the consumerism of contemporary India. The narrative travels from Delhi to Chitrakoot and Punjab and the distinct accents, language and specific curses are one of the highlights of the show. There's one particularly horrific scene in which a character is explaining to Hathi Ram the various types of sexual crime that can be inflicted to settle scores. There's penetration with fingers, there's rape, there's rape with murder and the last is appropriately called Puraka. Hathi Ram belongs to the pantheon of memorable investigators that streaming platforms have given us like Sartad Singh in Sacred Games and Shrikant Tiwari in The Family Man. Hathi Ram is a man who spent his life dealing with violence and vice, and yet he retains his honesty. His inherent dignity and sense of righteousness might be fatigued, but it refuses to fade. Jaydeep Pahlavat, an actor I've admired since his stellar turn in Gangs of Wasipur, finally gets a role to match his blazing talent. Hathi Ram's face and his eyes seem bruised by the brutality he has encountered, but he is still every inch the everyman hero. Despite the odds, Hathi Ram, like a modern-day Sisyphus, continues to push his rock uphill and probe until the pieces of the puzzle fall into place. Hathi Ram is up against formidable opponents, including the murderer Hathora Tyagi, named so because he prefers to kill with a hammer. Abhishek Banerjee's pitiless, furious gaze is guaranteed to give you sleepless nights. There's also Neeraj Kabi, pitch perfect as Sanjeev, who is by turns arrogant, afraid, entitled. In a rare moment of vulnerability, Sanjeev says, we used to be heroes, people like us. Then something about this country changed. Now we get trolled, killed, fired. This is what elevates Patal Lok from a skillful thriller to something bigger and more essential. Every turn of the twisted plot serves as a scathing commentary on the state of our nation. But this isn't done with a sledgehammer. It's done with economy and skill in the little moments. Watch the small slights that Ansari must endure at the station because he's Muslim. Ansari is smart, brave, clearly headed for a bright future. 
And yet, within the majority Hindu force, he's a second-class citizen and he's reminded at every turn about his status. Patal Loklays bear the bigotry that has seeped into the fabric of this country. In a heartbreaking scene, the father of one of the accused asks, Jise maine musalman na banne diya, aap logo ne usse jihadi bana diya? Patal Lok showcases caste, corruption, greed, dirty politics. It explores the backstories of the lead characters, revealing the cauldron of poverty and hate that creates killer. This might not be new information, but what's chilling is how casually it all plays out. A key character explains that what everyone thinks of as a rotten system is in fact a well-oiled machine in which every part knows his job, and if he doesn't, he's just replaced. There's plenty of violence in the show, but for me, this was the most frightening moment. The violence gets gory and in places, gratuitous. This is an overwhelmingly male world in which heads and fingers get chopped off, brains are splashed on streets, and even children are subjected to unspeakable brutality. The women are mostly collateral damage in the game for power and money being played by men. Gulpanag breaks the bleakness with her feisty presence as Hathiram's wife. Swastika Mukherjee is also lovely as Sanjeev's long-suffering spouse. These actors leave a mark in the little screen time they have. The locations in the show are also characters, especially the river, which is a site for romance, violence, contemplation, and excretion. In one of the early episodes, a character trying to relieve himself near the river where the cops are trudging for a key clue says that they won't even let him shit in peace. It's funny and sad. Avinash doubles up as DOP along with Saurabh Goswami for all nine episodes. The two shroud this grim world in a green-gray palette which is momentarily broken by bright lights. The climactic detour into a village fair is especially dazzling, as is the haunting background music by Narendra Chandavarkar and Benedict Taylor and the editing by Sanyukta Kaza. Pata Lok is the type of storytelling that streaming platforms were made for. Dense, layered, ambitious, ambiguous. I highly recommend that you make time for it. Now to tell you a little more about Mobi. It's a film streaming service that premieres two new films every day, showcasing the best of Indian cinema on their Mobi India channel and classic international hits on Mobi World. This week, I highly recommend you check out Salam Bombay. It's streaming on Mobi India.